Hey, it's Yazi, the sneak peek server in New Zealand have finished, and all the legendaries have been leaked. I'm dedicating this video to have a look at all the legendaries, and give you my opinion on how they work and how they're going to interact with the standard meta. Fendel Spring Tunic is the first generic equipment legendary, and it is a very generic legendary at that. At the start of your turn, if Fendel Spring Tunic has less than three energy counters, you may put an energy counter on it. Instant. Remove three energy counters from Fendel Spring Tunic, gain one resource. And then also has Blade Break for one defense. Comparing this to the other equipment, the Harness Strap, where you can destroy and then gain two resource on the one instant, Fendel Spring Tunic will definitely be a lot better in standard, though in limited formats, the Harness Strap will be a lot better. I really don't mind this card seeing as it's not too overpowered. Every three turns you do gain one resource, which is okay, but I don't think it's going to be the be all or end all for deciding if games are won or not. There's only one class that I can really see that's going to abuse this, which is Ninja, as all their swingy turns are going to be massive and with having this on top is just going to be that extra push. The next legendary is the Brute Equipment Leggings, called Scab Skin Leathers. It's personally my favourite one, as it's going to push a more control variant of Brute, allowing it to deal a lot more damage in a more control way rather than being aggro. Once per turn action, cost zero. Roll a six-sided die. Gain action points equal to half the number rolled, rolled down. So if you roll a 1, you don't gain any and your turn completely ends. But if you roll a 6, you get 3 extra action points. I don't know how that is needed so much, but it's something to keep in mind that if you have all these cards that don't have go again in your hand, you're able to play every single one of them on that one turn. And then this also has Battle Worn 2. So you can defend with it twice, um, first will be defending for two, then the second one will be defending for one. I think this is the defining card that's going to make the big difference between Control Brute and Aggro Brute. So in my opinion, I'd be getting my hands on this as soon as possible if you decide to play Brute. Mask of Momentum is the ninja's first legendary and it is probably the strongest legendary out of all of them. Once per turn effect. When an attack action card you control is the third or higher chain link in a row to hit draw one card. Blade break for two damage. So it's a ninja equipment for your head and it will be very hard to make all three attacks connect but with the ninja weapons the Kodachis you can simply just pitch one card and then attack with both your Kadachis and then finish it with an attack action card. And then on top of that, maybe put Lunging Press or any other attack reaction on top to draw another card. With this card and also the Fendel's Spring Tunic, I feel like this is going to push Ninja to the top of the medal once the game starts getting rolling. Brave Forge Braces is the warrior equipment for your arms which is battle worn to defense. Once per turn action, one resource. Your next weapon attack this turn gains one attack. Activate this ability only if your weapon you control has hit this turn, go again. It's a very minute kind of ability, but being able to use just one resource basically every turn to gain one extra damage isn't too bad seeing as you're not using cards from your hand, you're basically just using your, your equipment. And it's very warrior-esque to have that additional damage as an equipment legendary. I don't think this one's too necessary to have compared to the Goliath Gauntlet. Now the Goliath Gauntlet is only on your attack action cards, I believe. But it's a very nice legendary, nevertheless. The last legendary for Welcome to Wrath is Tectonic Plating. And it's a legendary that was released basically straight off the bat. It's a Guardian 2 Defense chest with, with battle worn with the effect action one resource create a seismic surge aura token go again and the seismic surge aura tokens reads as follows at the beginning of your action phase destroy seismic surge then the next guardian attack action card you play this turn costs one less resource to play 
This goes straight along the lines of how Guardian's going to play, being able to gain a bunch of stacking auras so all your attacks can hit and maybe multiples that turn. This is going to make it very easy for Crippling Crush to hit. Simply delaying your turn by two turns will allow you to discount two resource of any of your attack for the third attack. And in my opinion, I believe this is going to be a must of for Guardian if you're willing to play a control variant. The last card I want to have a look at is the Fabled card that will be in Welcome to Wrath. It's going to be 1 in 40 boxes apparently, while all the other legendaries are going to be 1 in 4. Heart of Fendel is a 3 pitch Fabled Legendary. This has the ability Legendary, which means that you can only have one of them in your deck. When you pitch Heart of Fendel, if you have less health than your opponent, gain one health. So as the card goes, it is a very bad card, but this will be the biggest flex card, and if you manage to open this, this is going to be one of those unattainable cards that everyone will probably hear about within the area. I guess you could compare this to the Black Lotus in Magic, Though I don't have any idea if that card ever was useful or not. With these legendaries, it's going to open up a lot of different ways to build decks, along with cycles as well. And I can't wait to start building my own deck. That's it for the video guys, and I'll see you in the next video.